In this video, I'm going to show you the last step of finishing your space scratch project. So this is the step that you do when you are done with everything. You've created all your interaction, you've added narration, now you are ready to share your project out. What you are going to do up here in the corner is you're going to hit the gray share button. When you hit that gray share button, it is going to take you to your project page. This is the page that everyone sees when they look at your project. So this is where you've been going to add your notes and credits. You are also going to go here to add instructions. So this is where you can kind of describe what people need to do to interact with your project. Like I'm going to at least have to write, click the green flag to begin the project. Everybody should have that in their project because they need to click the green flag to begin your project. If there's anything else that anybody needs to do, maybe they have to click the space key or something like that, you need to add that into your instructions. But everyone should at least have click the green flag to begin the project. Above instructions is the draft key. This is what I click if I'm still working on my project. Like I'm not quite done. I want people to know that I'm still in a draft mode. I would select this box. But since I am done, I'm not going to select the box. After you do this, you then need to go to our Google Classroom page. And in our Google Classroom page, let me pull up the Google Classroom. You are going to find a link to our Scratch Studio. So whatever class you're in, all the fourth grade classes have this link. And it's called Space Scratch Studio Link. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And it's going to take me to the Space Scratch Studio. What I do once I'm here is there's a button that says Add Projects. I'm going to find my space project down at the bottom and I'm going to click Add. You will see your project up here, here, and then projects from other classes in our class will come up on here. Then you can go through and click through the projects, view their project, and then you can like the project. You can heart the project, love the project by hearting it. You can star it by favoring it. And then you can click down here to leave a comment about the project. So remember, when you're leaving comments, make sure that your comments are constructive and they are helping somebody improve their project. Like, I really like how you did this. Maybe next time try this. So always start with something positive about their project followed by an idea for improvement. Maybe try this. Did you ever think to do this? That kind of thing. I hope this video helped you understand how to share your project, add it to our class studio, and leave comments on your classmates' projects.